Believe it or not, not all good games have followings the size of small countries. For one reason or another, there's a ton of games that get pushed off to the side, overlooked, or otherwise forgotten. And the real shame in all of this is that they never get the credit they rightfully deserve. So once in a while, I raid the local game store and take a gamble on some titles I know nothing about. Titles like... Swagman. Yeah, that sounds nice and exotic. So the premise is simple enough. It's a typical story of good versus evil. Good guys spread good dreams, the bad guy spreads bad dreams, all the good guys get captured, the titular bad guy starts spreading too many bad dreams, and it falls upon two young, reluctant heroes to set things right. Or at least it would if he hadn't trapped your sister in a birdcage for the first chapter. Luckily, you're not alone. Big gay furry cultist, also known as Scarab, is there to give you tips and advice every step of the way. This is all well and good, but I can't help but wonder where mom and dad are in all of this. Oh, figures. Yeah, no hurry, guys. There's only a giant tear in reality where the second floor used to be. Speaking of realms of reality, using mirrors, you can actually step out of your own and into the Swagmans. These are easily the best moments in the game, but they're woefully underused, especially when compared to the overworld segments, where you're fending off enemies you can't kill with a weapon that only goes about two feet in front of your face. Make no mistake, this game is hard. If you're not paying attention, the game over screen is quickly going to become a game over and over and over and over screen. So finally, after much tribulation, you make it to this weird portal in the front garden which takes you to a place called Limbo. Here, Scarab will take all the bugs you collected and lay out a safe path through the area. After freeing one of the beings that can put a wrench in Swagman's plans, you face the first boss. And this is really where I start to lose my patience. Think about this, a level 1 boss with an insta-kill move. And no, the mashing button strategy does not break you out of his death grip. Well, at least he only uses it once in a while, right? WRONG! No, this is his main method of attack. The real icing on the cake, though, is that if you die, you don't get to start again at the boss. Oh no, that would be too easy. You've got to go all the way through Limbo again, talking to Scarab, waiting half a century for all the bugs to come out of your jar, freeing the Dreamfly again, and then getting another shot at the boss. I eventually got to the point where I could walk the path without Scarab's help because I had gone down it so many freaking times. And that's my biggest pee with this game, is that it's needlessly frustrating sometimes for no reason. So after a million tries, or going to GameFAQ for the invincibility code, here it is by the way, you finally beat the boss and get the warp marble, which, as you've been led to believe, will set your sister free. Naturally, your first instinct is to go back to your room and use it there, but whoops, that's not the right course of action. No, you need to somehow magically figure out that A, you need to go to the garage, B, that a small child has the strength to push a parked car in this world, and C, you have to go through the revealed door that I swear refuses to let you enter half the time. Oh. Well, I'm a f***ing idiot. And believe it or not, Swagman only gets harder from there. And this is roughly where I started questioning why I was even going along with this. I really want to help these kids, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized. I got my sister back, so this isn't exactly a personal battle anymore. But oh, what's that? There's 11 more dream flies? If they're not freed, nobody will ever have good dreams ever again? Well, asses to you then. I gotta watch out for myself. And really, if the worst this guy can do is give people nightmares for the rest of eternity, he's really not that great a villain to begin with. Certainly not evil enough to justify putting myself through an entire game of this nonsense. Freddy Krueger, the swag man, is not. So while I could go through with the rest of this to put an end to his evil reign, why would I want to? Oh, you think you're hot stuff, huh? Just wait till you see the night terrors I'll give you, pal! I'll chase you with a truck, crash your laptop, marry you to Lindsay Lohan! Then we'll see how evil you think I am. <laughs> oh yeah? I'll fix your ass, pal. You'll have to beat the game to do that. But apparently somebody in this room can't handle a little challenge. Hey, where'd you go?
That's some good coffee. Wait, no! Not the face! Oh, my flesh! Oh, God, it burns! Well, that was a bit of a disappointment. But hey, no worries, right? Uh, there's bound to be something in here I'm gonna like. Right? <laughs>